Hi, this is Brian Gilman with Scout Support. In today's video, we're going to go over Snap 2.0, Top Shelf's import and export tool. Let's take a quick look at some of the new features in Snap. You no longer have to delete the headers off of your import or export spreadsheets. We've added export filters to get only the data that you need when exporting out of Snap. Snap also allows you to print labels by providing a spreadsheet of records that you want to be printed. Snap also allows you to delete records if you provide a spreadsheet of records to be deleted. You can create job groups to be run in succession. Scheduled jobs can be set up to be run daily, weekly, or on a monthly basis. And Snap now also has the capability to get or put files using FTP. To install Snap, first log into the Top Shelf Admin Console and navigate to the Help section. On the left hand side you'll see a Snap section click on download snap to begin the download. Once downloaded, run the installer and follow the prompts. Once finished, snap will now be installed under the start menu of your Windows computer. Once the installer is finished, simply navigate to your start menu and run snap. The first screen you will see is going to be the setup screen. Enter your admin credentials from your initial top shelf email in this section. If you do not have these credentials, please speak to your IT representative or contact Scout. Once you have entered in your credentials, click Test to ensure that the connection is correct and Save when completed. You'll notice that you get your remaining tabs that appear after you click Save. Let's click on Jobs to see which type of jobs we can run. If we click Add, you'll see you can Export, Import, Delete, Print Labels, or FTP. For this demonstration, we're going to do an export. Click Next and select which type of data we want to export. You can do bins, clients, sales orders, but for this we're going to do items, which are inventory numbers. Now we want to add which columns we want exported. I want to see the part name, the bin, and the quantity. And I want it to export with headers. Click Next and supply a file name to be exported to. Click Next when finished and click OK. But first we want to do filters. We want to say I only want to see my inventory in bin A001. So I'm going to select my bin filter. My operator is going to be equals or contains. We're going to do A001 and click Done. Now instead of exporting all of my inventory, it's going to, going to only going to show me the inventory located in bin A001. Click OK. Now you'll see it show up in your jobs list here. To run the export, highlight and click Run. You'll, you'll get a notification down here if the job has succeeded. Now let's do an import using Snap. To add an import job, click Add, click Import, and select what type of data we want to import. For this, we're going to do Parts, and click Next. I have an import spreadsheet here that has a few columns. We'll notice that it has a part name, vendor name, a part description, and a required serial field that will indicate if this is a serialized product or not. What we want to do in Snap is we want to line up those columns the same way as they are on the spreadsheet. So I have part name and vendor name by default. So the only thing missing is description and is requires serial. I'm going to also indicate that my CSV has headers. Next, I'm going to browse and find the file on my computer. One thing to note is you'll always want to make sure that the CSV is not open when you're running the snap job, as it'll, it'll shoot out an error. Once I'm finished, I click Next and click OK. Now to run the job, simply highlight the job and click Run. It'll indicate how many rows were successfully completed, and if there's any errors, it'll display them here. Let's take a quick look at some of the other job types. I'm going to click Add, and we're going to take a look at printing labels. Highlight Print Labels and click Next. It's going to ask which type of label do we want to print. Let's do Bin Label, or Warehouse Label as it's called here. When I select that, you'll notice all it's asking for is a list of bins, so we'd want a spreadsheet with one column with a list of bins. You'll supply the file name for that spreadsheet, and then also which printer you want these labels to be printed. Once complete, click OK and run the job as normal. Running a delete job is very similar to printing labels. We're going to click Add, select Delete, 
select which type of object we want to delete, and provide the information needed. Please note that deleting cannot be undone, so be very careful when using this feature. Now let's take a look at the scheduler that's built into Snap. Click on the Scheduler tab and click Add. You'll notice that we have our pre-existing jobs that we've already created. We can select any one of these to be run on a scheduled time. I'm going to choose our export that we created earlier. Let's say we want this to be run every day at 4 o'clock. Click Next, give it a name. Now every day at 4 o'clock p.m., our export of inventory in bin A001 will be run. For more information on SNAP, please visit the Help section when logged into Top Shelf. Visit our website at www.scoutsft.com, give us a call, or send an email to support at scoutsft.com.